Alright, as you have probably seen, this is a tutorial video, which was not requested because I have like no subscribers, on how to get your own custom soundtrack onto Terraria. Or, so all you have to do is just modify the wave banks, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. Because first you want to build your own wave bank, right? So you can get your own music. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this link here, which I'll leave a link in the description. And what that does is it installs the X and A tools, which is what you need to make a wave bank without Visual Studio, which is a heck of a lot easier of trying to get Windows Studio because it is just a pain in the ass. So trust me, you'll want to use this. So first thing you want to do is you want to get the installer, which will direct you here, and you install it, but I already have it on my computer, right in here. And then you're not actually going to run it. What you're going to do is you're going to open up command prompt and you're going to find the directory which the easiest way to do is just do that and then what you're going to do is you're going to put a backslash you're going to put in this the command here in the website so xna what that does is you're going to open it up it's going to run it and what it's going to do is it's going to install all the files you need onto your computer but like i already have them so i'm not going to do it I was just trying to show you how to do it. Yeah, so this pop, the window will pop up. You'll just do find a directory to extract. Okay, blah, 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 blah. And then you'll find all the files you need in your um, program files. Times 86. So then Microsoft XNA. And then you're going to go into Microsoft XNA, Game Studio, version 4, setup. Then all the things, you won't see as many files here, that's because I've already ran these. And you go into setup, and all you really need to run is first you run shared, and then you run perf uh, platform tools, and they're both .msis. And what that'll do is, they're both installers, you run them, and it'll give you everything you need. So you won't need this website anymore. So after you run that, you'll go back here, everything will be there. And what you go is, you go into the tools, and the program you need is xact3.exe. So you open that. Give it a sec. There you go. And then this is the creation tool that you need, which is perfect because it took me like an hour just to download this. Without this website, everything, all the other tutorials sucked. That's why I'm making this. And so the next thing you want to do, well, is obviously to make your own project. And to do that, you want to go to, well, new project. I'm going to put mine into test. Save. Oh, yeah, I need to put in a name. Whoops. There we go. So then these three files should install. You don't need the Xbox one because, well, this is an Xbox, it's for Terraria. And then the next thing you want to do is, well, wave banks, new wave bank. And this is where you're going to put all your sound files. What I did is I went in and picked sounds because my friend wanted an Undertale soundtrack, so I picked a bunch of songs that fit accordingly from Undertale, and I downloaded them all onto my computer in here. And so I actually numbered them. And what you want, the next thing you want to do before downloading all that is, well, you need to know all the songs, right? So I'm going to put another link in the description for the track list. And this will have all the songs which will be up to date. Another reason you need to make your own, well, I mean, you can download others, uh, wave banks, but if it's not to the current version, it won't work because they just added the Old Ones Army from the Dungeon Defenders 2 event, which is a new song. So every previous version of the for Terraria wave banks doesn't work. So the next thing you want to do, well, because you have that, you can pick your songs, download them. So for example, Night, I have this. Nice, eh? And then Overworld, I got Snowden and all of that. All the good stuff, I got some boss fights. So yeah, I got everything I want, and it's all lined up, numbered with this. So that's how you just organize it, because that's how the wave bank will read it. 
And if it's in the wrong order, then it'll play, for example, if I had night as 3, it would play night when it's actually daytime. Oh, and one other thing that I wish they mentioned is for number 28, all you want to do is you just want to find a sound effect for rain. Like, it doesn't have to be a song. Uh, they have that in the music separate than sounds. I don't know why, but whatever. So, after you number them all, you can't, this would have been so much easier, but you can't just do all that. You actually have to go into your wave bank and put them in one by one. So, one, then two. So, this is probably the longest part, picking out all the songs, but then dragging them all in doesn't take long. And you'll have this, and you can't just export that because there's a few things you gotta do. There's just two last things. So the first thing you wanna do, well, since you'll have all your files here, all you need to do is make a new compression preset, and you set, go to Windows, and you set it to XWMA. And now that you've got your compression preset, you go to WaveBank, compression preset, and you set it to compression preset. And there you go, that's all you have to do. Then you do File, Build, and then Finish. And then it'll build your wave bank. Alright, there we go, it's done. Then you go into your file, which is where my test was. You go into Win, and there it is, wavebank.xwb. The test file you don't need. So yeah, then you take, what you want to do now is open up another one and go all the way to your directory file for Terraria. So Steam, under Profile and Gram Files 86, Steam Apps, Common, Terraria, Content, and this is the current one. What you do is you drag that and you replace it. I don't want to replace mine though because I already like the music I have. It's a different one. But yeah, so you take that, you put it in there, you replace it, and then you're done. So you can go into Terraria there, launch it, and it'll play the music you want that you put in. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it starts off quiet, then boom. You can hear that, right? I hope so. Let's go into one of my worlds. And I should switch to the jungle music. Actually, it's nighttime. Oh, yeah, but nighttime jungle is the same as regular jungle. So I have it for jungle. And I'll just give you a like, quick preview. Whoops, that's my nighttime music. Here's my crimson music. Yeah, I really like the music from Undertale, so you know, it's kind of cool to have playing while you know you get to play around with it. And actually, one of my friends didn't want to game because he thought it was dumb, but then I showed him that you could change the music and now he's actually going to try it, so that should be fun. So I will absolutely love Terraria and Undertale, so that's why I matched up the music. But you know, you can put music and songs from any other games you want. So yeah, this is what I did for the Underground Crimson. If you want, I will leave my wave bank for my Undertale Terraria music in the description as well, because you know, you might want to download this. So yeah, that's the whole video. Bye.